wanna know his secret? What is up guys, Grenader here for the 100th and like 50th time I've recorded this video and the reason is that I've been, you know, thinking I've been recording because I usually record my voice with audacity and I shadow play my desktop and that's how I record my videos but since I'm showing you guys a tutorial in audacity it ends up cutting or it just stops recording, right? It stops recording my voice and I can't really get it right but um i try i'm trying different ways and hopefully this is the way i can get it anyways that is beyond the point and today we'll be talking about how to drum roll please how to remove background noise that is an issue that a lot of us have when we record videos because either we're recording in our studio right and we got your mom outside and she's watching the movie or the garbage man is passing by or like someone's getting raped outside i don't know what the deal is but we always encounter this issue of background noise and we don't know how to fix it, but I do. So I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So one take, here we go. We're going to, I got, I pre-recorded this, uh, this audio clip and hopefully you can hear it without it sounding kind of weird because I'm recording my voice in a different way. The way I'm, uh, my recording is set up, it might sound kind of weird, but I just want to get this video out somehow and show you guys how to do this. So bear with me so just take a listen what is up guys grenader here and this is just an audio sample in order for you guys to hear the background noise okay so i don't know why i was recording that i'm just gonna play it what is up guys grenader here and this is just an audio sample in okay that sounds horrible um i'm gonna stop doing that but you guys get the gist you know i'm recording something and there's background noise and we're gonna fix it so the the steps to do this are very simple what you have to do is that when you're recording in audacity is that you gotta wait like before when before you start recording wait five seconds before you start talking reason being is that audacity does this so that you can um, select this area of just background noise and get a profile out of it so basically don't talk until you hit the five second mark and the the rest like the from zero to five seconds that is the background noise that we'll be selecting and telling audacity hey this is the stuff i don't want to hear in my video so um here is what i don't want to hear and basically you take this get a noise profile and yada 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 so let me show you what i'm talking about so um like i said you don't say anything for five seconds you let the background noise settle in and then you go to effect, you go to noise reduction, and you get a noise profile. And now you double click or you select your whole um, audio clip. You go back to effect and you go to noise reduction once again, and you mess around with these settings. And I've already done this video several times, so I might sound like a broken record, but basically what you wanna do is max out these settings until your voice sounds totally ridiculously horrible and after you find that um that line to where like maybe right here for me my noise reduction is at 26 sensitivity is at 1350 and that to me sounds horrible now it's from here on down that you start dialing it down until it sounds amazing and i found that for me my perfect setting is 12 and 750 and your sensitivity should be lower than your noise reduction so let's try this out and when you hit ok you're gonna see that this five second mark this beginning part um, the audio waves go down again and that means that it basically removed the audio so as you can see if we if you check out this area I selected there's no audio there because it removed it and let's take another painfully listen to this what is up guys Grenader here and this is just an audio sample now this sounds a whole lot better because the background noise is, is gone 
and everything else just sounds way better so this is the technique you have to use now I can't really give you a very good example because the audio is playing out of my TV and into the mic and just the way I have to record to make this video doesn't really help me and doesn't really let me show you the potential of the clip and how good to you know it can come out so I want you to understand just the basic steps so I'm gonna go through them once again so the basic steps are basically step one which is recording your audio clip but you don't want to say anything from the zero to five second mark you just let the background noise kind of simmer in that five seconds so for example you hit record and you don't say anything at all for five seconds and you let either the background noise just kind of you know just go you know and then after five seconds you can go and do your intro and be like hey guys blah 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 and then when you get to the end same thing just you know to make sure that um, the audio is removed when you're when you say peace out or when you just end the video you wait five seconds and then you stop recording you then go and select from you go to the five second mark and select everything from the five second mark to the beginning and you go to effect noise removal you get the profile and you go back and then you mess around with the settings you hit okay the people the part where people mess up is when they have to go back and um, mess with the settings because they usually um, forget to select the whole clip and they remove the noise but just for that five second mark because they they left that selected so make sure to select everything when you're going back to the noise removal so that is basically it after that you can select that first part and delete it and you can select this end part and delete it as well and now you got your clip sounding amazing and crisp and what you can do from here is you double click everything you go to effect um, bass and treble and I usually add a 0.5 boost in treble excuse me in a 1.6 boost in bass and this will make your voice sound deeper and richer and just better but you can always tinker around with the settings so that is pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe and leave a comment on what video i should do next thank you for leaving a comment um i forgot what your name was but um your comment thing's on the screen right now so congratulations you amazing subscriber for leaving this uh this suggestion so if you want to make a guest appearance on my channel or just want to see your comment on the video make sure to leave a suggestion down below and I'll make sure to credit you for your suggestion thank you for watching and this is Grenader signing off hopefully you enjoyed this video peace out